Oh. Hey everybody. Um, I'm gonna sing y'all a song. So, uh, um, I hope you know this one. It's it's called "Listen to Your Heart," um, and it's really something that I believe in in principle that you should always follow what your heart's telling you. So, here we go. I know there's something in the wake of your smile I get a notion from the look in your eyes Yeah, you built a love That love falls apart Your little piece of heaven Turns to dark Listen to your heart When he's calling for you Listen to your heart Nothing else you can do I don't know where you're going And I don't know why But listen to your heart Before you tell him goodbye Follow it Follow your spirit Sometimes you wonder if this fight is worthwhile The precious moments are all lost in the dark Yeah, they're swept away and nothing is what it seems The feeling of belonging to your dream When he's calling for you, listen to your heart Nothing else you can do I don't know where you're going And I don't know why But listen to your heart Before you tell him goodbye It's genuine, man You gotta listen to your heart Um Yeah So real, man. Oh, show. And there are voices that want to be heard. So much to mention, but you can't find the words. The scent of magic, the beauty that's there. When love was wilder than the wind, listen to your heart. When he's calling for you, listen to your heart There's nothing else you can do I don't know where you're going And I don't know why But listen to your heart Before you Listen to your heart When he's calling for you Listen to your heart Nothing else you can do I don't know where you're going And I don't know why But listen to your heart Before You tell him goodbye Oh, all right, guys. So the music's a little dimmer now, but that was a song. Listen to your heart. It's one I in enjoyed for quite some time. Um, but yeah, the reason I decided to sing it today has a little story that goes along with it, and I actually have two wonderful shout-outs coming up. Um, one of them being a repeat shout-out for the first time ever. So here's our story. So today is Sunday. I was at church um, because I go to church, obviously, and. Um, actually, this story hurts, like, over the weekend. Because over the weekend, I was thinking I wanted to make a video, right? Because on Friday and Saturday, I was just like, I want to make a video, but I didn't have a song in mind or any inspiration, particularly speaking to me, about what to sing. But, so I posted a status on um, Facebook. I was like, you guys, I got any song suggestions, anything that could spark my mind? Um, nothing particular came out. I mean, there was a lot of suggestions. Stuff I might maybe do eventually, but, like, when I post that, like, I almost never actually take a suggestion. It's kind of just like to see what other people are thinking. But normally the songs that they suggest are things I've never heard of, so it's just like too hard to get into it right away. Um, <coughs> but here's the thing. So, 
Oh, I'm at church today. My friend, this is our first shout out today, and it is a um, new shout out. It is to my friend Michaela. I think her last name's Olsen, I want to say. If I got her last name wrong, you'll see what it is on the screen. But yeah, so Michaela is someone I met a couple weeks ago at Epic. Epic, yeah, Epic. I'm not going to count on Epic as a shout out today, but it'll probably get shouted out again sometime within the next 50. But um, anyways, Michaela, she, 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 when we were in church just singing during the worship part, she was like, dude, you should sing. Um, you should sing a Christian song in your videos. And I was like, nah, maybe, maybe sometime, yeah. The thing about it is, though, like, I've always considered singing a Christian song in these videos at some point, but it's it's difficult to think about, because, like, um, oh, bottle mic, okay, anyways. The reason that I've, like, been, le like, the reason I've been a little, like, what's the word, uh, um, I don't I don't know what the word is, but it's just like I've been. Dang it! I I I want to remember what that word is now. I've been. Ugh, ugh, it starts with an L. I've been. Dang it! I'm just I'm just blowing it. Okay, whatever. I've been. Ugh, I want to. Okay, whatever. I've just been reluctant. That's what it is. It doesn't start with an L though, but whatever. I've been reluctant. To, um, to sing actual religious songs in my videos because the way that I started getting an audience in the first place was through all my weird and crazy stuff that wasn't religious at all, right? Through the Uka thing, um, through You Give Love a Bad Name, through um, the Hippie Flare cover, like all those weird and crazy things. Ultimately, they weren't within the confines of spirituality or religion. And like I'm reluctant to do more spiritual or religious songs because of that reason. Because I feel like my audience wanes when I do sing songs more along those lines. However, um, the reason I'm giving Michaela the shout-out today is because two reasons. Um, for one, I actually do think I'm going to consider singing more religious songs in the future. Just for the fact that I spiritually want to. And these videos, ultimately, while they are to make other people happy, I also want to kind of deliver a positive message here. Um, I don't want people to laugh at me for doing something completely stupid and be inspired to do the same stupid thing. I kind of want to... Um, take it up a notch. I mean, I'm still gonna be stupid and crazy, but I'm gonna do it, like, with a message behind it. And I feel like that's a beautiful thing. Like, I can ex exploit my awkwardness to make it a positive thing. Um, but also, like, deliver positive messages through, um, good music. But the other thing is, like, um, I don't think Christian music is the only message that can deliver a positive message. Um, which is displayed in the fact that I didn't actually sing Christian song today. I sang Listen to Your Heart. Um... And um, a couple of videos ago when I sang the Tiffany Alvord covers, like, Crazy Good, My Sunshine, and My Dream, um, I said a similar thing in those videos. I said that a song doesn't have to be a Christian song to be related to God, right? Because this song, it says, listen to your heart um, when he's calling to you. And, like, on a certain level, okay, that relates to a boyfriend, you know, like, you're going to break up, like, you know, make a smart decision before the very end, right? But on a deeper level, it means, like, um, before you make any stupid decisions... Listen to God. God. Listen to God's heart because um, his heart's going to give you the best choice no matter what. Now, in addition to Michaela today, when I was in church and Michaela told me that, it made me. It reminded me of somebody else that I've given a shout-out before. And now we're going to do our first double shout-out ever. And this is crazy. Um, but our first double shout-out of all time is Rachel Breyer. Now, Rachel Breyer I've only seen for two weeks in my entire life. Um... One was at Spencer Lake Summer Camp, and one was today. Now, the thing is, it was so crazy how I saw Rachel today, because as soon as Michaela told me that, um, Rachel was, like, the first thing that popped into my mind, right? Because the thing about Rachel is, when I was at camp um, during the summer, um, Rachel actually found out about my videos from Marin, because Marin was talking about them the whole time. I'm not going to count Marin as a shout-out today, by the way. I'm, I'll probably give her a shout-out sometime in the next 50 again, just like Epic, but... Um, Rachel is the one that I really want to focus on today, but anyways, um, so Rachel found out about my videos from Marin, and when she found out about them, she assumed, or she, she gave me the suggestion that I should use the videos to talk about my faith, because that was something that we were focusing a lot on during camp that weekend, right? And when she said that, it made me feel stupid, because, like, prior to that point, I'd always just been doing stupid videos, like, Hippie Flair, and You Give Love a Bad Name, and just kind of stuff that was self-promoting or humorous, um, and there was never really that serious vibe, and I feel like ever since camp with Rachel, that's when I started doing more serious things, um, the first video I made when I got back from camp was the one where I dressed up as Jesus and did the My Little Pony cover, 
Which proves that, like, even though I'm trying to give a serious message, like, I can still do fun stuff, because, like, dressing up as Jesus was freaking awesome, and it was just a blast to do. Um, but yeah, so I still have a creative creativity in my mind, and I still, like, but the thing is, that's really what did, um, that's really did what did inspire me to start being more emotionally um, invested in these, and not just, like, just a bunch of humor and acting like an idiot. Um, so yeah, Rachel is really a big part of the root of why... I started um, um, bringing more of my faith into videos and stuff. So I felt like she deserves more credit. And the thing about it is, like, if, if, if I hadn't seen her today, um, I probably would not have given her a shout-out. Because the thing about it is, is it was just, like, so completely drastic and ironic that I started today. Because, like, the, thing, the reason I thought of her when Michaela told me that I should sing more Christian songs is because... She, Rachel told me that I should do more faith-based stuff as well, right? And the thing is, I hadn't seen Rachel since camp ended. I think I said that in my shout-out archive video. And today I saw her because she came back from college, like, just this Sunday. And it was funny because, like, minutes after I thought of her um, when talking to Michaela, like, I just, like, we just, I mean, it was, it was weird, dude. Like, I just, church ended, and then I was walking to leave church. And I just saw Rachel, and then she hugged me, and it was like, what? So good, man. I I'm just so happy I saw Rachel again. I mean, she's going back to college, so I won't see her at Epic or anything, but uh, I'm so happy I saw Rachel today. I'm really so happy. And, yeah, ultimately, just, like, the impact she's left on my videos in my life, even though I've only seen her two weeks ever, is it's incredible, man. Um, so Team Rachel Forever, I think her... Um, Twitter thing is like eternity love, which is awesome. Um, love, eternity love, like love forever, man. <sighs> That's kind of my thing. You know, you just got to keep on loving and loving and loving and loving until you can't love anymore. But with that being said, I think we're about done for today's video. And Rachel, congratulations on being the first double shout out of all time. That being said, there are many double shout outs to come and many new shout outs as well. I'm glad to give Michaela one today because um, I'm really happy about meeting her um, a few weeks ago. It was really, it's really been awesome knowing her in the little time that I have. And yeah, I think that's about it. So as always, we'll see you on the flip side and have a great night. And I think that's all. Yeah. Peace.